Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on Vulnerable Time in Pure Aloha Mac Protocol. Ok, first things first, what is the Vulnerable Time? The length of time in which there is a possibility of collision is defined as the Vulnerable Time. Let's consider a network that consists of three nodes, A, B and C. And let's assume that the time is continuous. Furthermore, let's assume that the nodes in this network transmit fixed length frames, where for each frame it takes transmission time to transmit them completely. Then let's assume that at time t0 node A starts to transmit a frame over the shared medium. Now, in case where node B has already transmitted a frame between T0 minus TT and T0 period, then the two signals collide and consequently both frames from nodes A and B are destroyed. Indeed, the end of B's frame intersects with the beginning of A's frame. On the other hand, Let's assume that node C transmits a frame between T0 and T0 plus TT. In this case, there is a collision between frames uh, from nodes A and C. Indeed, the end of A's frame intersects with the beginning of the C's frame. As it can be observed from this example, in pure aloha, the vulnerable time during which a collision may take place is two times the frame transmission time, where the transmission or emission time is the amount of time from the first bit until the last bit of a frame that has emitted the transmitting node. The frame transmission time can be obtained from the frame length in bits and the bit rate in bits per second as it can be seen here. And that's all folks on vulnerable time for pure aloha MAC protocol.